Welcome back. One man's vision, entrepreneurship, and love for innovation set the wheels rolling, laying a strong foundation for the future of an engineering company. For the last three decades, Tema India has laid a foundation for pioneering research and development of high-end static equipment, and today it is one of the leading manufacturers of shell and tube heat exchangers, not only in India, but also in the rapidly growing global conglomerate in the engineering sector. We visited Tema's facility at Achar, located on the Mumbai Ahmedabad Highway. Have a look. Started in the year uh, 1975 from manufacturing shell and tube heat exchangers. Today, Tema has come a long way. So, how has been this journey since the inception? Well, my journey started many years back when I was doing my engineering. I think it was uh, the final year when I had to write uh, my thesis. So, I selected the subject of pressure vessels. But having done that, I used to do odd jobs for refinery, SO refinery, and those days it was HPCL was known as SO refinery. It was, it was American owned. So there, I used to supply some odd jobs with little, little bit of engineering involved to laboratories. There was the first time I got a break to manufacture sampling bombs. These are the bombs which take samples at a very high pressure of a very hazard hydrocarbons. So the safety margins have to be too good. And uh, the walls used to leak and they were all imported. And um, they tried their best to develop this product here but it failed miserably. And I had to convince them and I had to do that, a small one at my own cost, to flourish from there in that field. And that's the place I used to go very often and I noticed that shell and tube heat exchanges are the ones which have got a lot of nuisance value. Here. What all have been the company's major achievements and milestones in the course of this journey till date? We are the tiniest company in this field of doing shell and tube heat exchange. Now we wanted to get into bigger size and exchanges that have bigger problems, okay? And the service that was dirty. Only when the service is dirty, do you have to clean it up? How do you clean it up? You have to open up to clean it up. Now this joint, which, is, which actually is supposed to be a high pressure, high temperature joint, yeah. leak proof joint, this is where the engineering comes into the picture in a big way. This is where the machining, the designing and everything comes into the picture. It's the gasket, sealant, gasket is a sealant and the pressure is adopted by bolts. So we quickly graduated from supercritical area of uh, power generation. We have made the supercritical area the maximum number of high pressure feed water heaters in this country at least. You manufacture an entire range of static process equipments. So in this diverse range of uh, equipments, why did you choose to specialize in shell and tube heat exchangers? Every time I would see so many of them dismantled condition so that I could keep in. I learned a lot just looking at them. So the next thing was design. And it was thermal designs so that I would understand the thermal design, the mechanical design, the performance. And then I graduated into this. The same area under the hook, you can have much more tonnage because there are internals. Other pressure vessels don't have internals. The distillation column has got very light internals. This has got very, very heavy internals. And the internal like tube bundle is actually the heart of the heat exchange. As far as I've spoken with you, I have learned that uh, innovation is at the heart of Tema India. So I would like to know that what is unique about your patented screw technology? We are standing right here where you see the channel barrel being machined. This machining is done after entire fabrication, lining and stress relieving. Finally, it's machined because we need that accuracy inside. Okay. The accuracy involved is so much that uh, the very first big project that we were awarded, that was uh, CPCL refinery. Okay. There, the 
licensor, Chevron. They said we suggest don't make breech lock extension, just make the conventional ones because the size is too big and um, there are a lot of problems. But it so happened that they had to go for uh, the other route. Fortunately, we were awarded that contract. Now, this happened to be the largest size screw plug. And that is why Sherwood, all the more reason why they did not want to get into it. So, I loved that challenge. Those been working for 14 years now, but they'll work forever. And uh, then we got an order from BPCL, very similar in nature. Those have been working without even servicing. CPCL has been recently serviced by us, only recently. And BPCL is working, very soon we'll be doing the servicing, I'm sure of that. But they again will go on forever. You have maintained a sustainable growth rate in your business vertical. And uh, your journey is certainly a remarkable one. So what sets you apart from others? Well, we love what we do. So we see to it, the, all the exchanges that we produce, they give 100% service throughout and we don't mind doing service, and we will even modify if required as the design parameters keep changing from our side because we keep on innovating. We would want all our equipment to really live because we own our equipment despite the fact we have sold them. Uh, you told me about the American Society of Mechanical Engineers acceptance of your uh, technical paper and presentation. So how has that certification helped the company? It's helped the company already, but it's going to help the company hundredfold. Because the country has to go from Euro 3 to Euro 4 and Euro 6. Basically, what does it mean? We need our diesel clean so there's not much of pollution. So sulfur content has to be avoided or reduced drastically. Now, you may have all kind of technology to reduce that and a lot of expenditure made in that. But if your heat exchangers are not functioning and there is intermixing, that means the higher sulfur zone goes to the one cleaner one, the lower sulfur zone, the whole purpose is defeated. So this paper basically we presented, it's to do with group like heat exchanger where high, high heat exchanger, there's a lot of intermixing, which we have totally stopped. And one more thing is a plug that never opens and we have given the paper and we have given the copyrights to them so the whole world can go for cleaner fuel. On one hand, where Mr. Sippy wants to hold on to the leadership positioning of the company, on the other, he equally is considerate and passionate towards meeting his social responsibility by providing vocational training to the tribals living in the encompassing belt and enhancing their skills and employability. Here we'll take a short break, keep watching Emerging SME.